If Luca had a nickname, it would be Houdini. He just opens every door, tries to escape. We have to lock ourselves in. The worst case scenario with Luca letting himself out is where he's deaf. He's not going to hear a car coming. Getting that phone call saying, I think I've run your dog over. Do you want to come on in? Beautiful. Oh, thank you. <gasps> come on in. Come on in. Come go on, ahead? Hunter. Let me, uh, let me just get the door shut. <laughs> Gotta lock it. Oh, OK. Wow. <laughs> uh, so why do you say you have to lock the door? He escapes. If we don't lock the front door, he will just let himself out and go for a little wander. Oh. <laughs> he can get out? Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> very clever. I want to see this hound Houdini for myself. He's pacing between the window and the back door. Ah, now he opens the door when they come back. This is dangerous. He opens that middle door, opens the front door, and he's out. And he takes himself off for a walk in the park with his issues. That's absolutely terrifying. Yeah, you can lock that front door, but what happens if you forget? I think there needs to be some added measure that you need to put in place just in case so that he knows, I can't touch that door. Victoria wants to start with the most dangerous issue, Luca's escapology routine. So first of all, with this door, I want you to dog proof it. There are many ways you can dog proof handles so that when he does put pressure, the handle doesn't work, okay? That's number one. So what can we do with training? What kind of skill can I give your dog to stop him from going out the door? Okay. He's a deaf dog, so he relies on his vision more. So let's use it. I'm gonna teach Luca how to read. Okay. I'm going to use the word stop. I'm interested to see how this goes. I think it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> I'm gonna hold the sign in one hand and I'm gonna give him the cue first, hold the sign out, give him the thumbs up, and then throw a treat, okay. all right? He is going to start to associate these, the shape of these words with he has to stop. Eventually, this sign is going to go on your door and he's gonna recognize, oh, stop, can't go any further, all right. Tap him on the shoulder, because obviously I can't call his name. Show that I have some food. Get his attention. So, I am giving the hand signal, showing the sign, giving a thumbs up and treating. See what just happened then? Yeah. Stop without the hand signal. Yep, I faded the hand signal. Okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open the door and do this training again with an okay. open door. That was impressive. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, it was really We'd impressive. We never have thought of that idea. Never heard of teaching dog to read before. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.